Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look right here. This is what I'm calling it, my everyday quarantine makeup look. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Okay, so next I am going in with the Honest Beauty Cream Foundation in the color Sand. I like using cream foundations is what it looks like. Obviously, I used a lot, but um, see it's very creamy like that. I like using cream foundations. I think they last longer for like an everyday natural look. Um, they say this is buildable, which it is. You can also use it for concealer too. I personally like using just regular old concealer, but this is great because it actually looks better as you wear it throughout the day, kind of like, especially in the summer, you know, it sounds gross, but when you sweat, it kind of melts into your face, and it just looks really, really good. I love it. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, and what I also love about this is if you have, like, beauty marks on your face, this foundation still allows you to see your beauty marks, whereas if you would use a heavy foundation like my Bare Minerals foundation I love, that's full coverage, it kind of covers all of that up, so this is great for if you want to, like I said, show off your beauty marks. So I just use a regular like buffer brush like this and I kind of like, I'll show you, like dab it in like so. Like I'll move it around like this but I feel like the product picks up better if you like dab it like this. It also comes with an applicator. Oh, it's not in there but it did come with an applicator. I don't like how, I never like how applicators that come with the product go on your face so I always just use a brush or beauty blender or something so I'm just going to put this all over my face like I said this is buildable and you can use it as a concealer as well I personally don't like to do that you can just use it with your finger and go under like that just to build it up but I just I'm obsessed with concealer so that's why I like just using plain old concealer. But like, you could see the difference already. Like, holy moly, this is, I'm trying to look in the view, find, find it too. This side compared to this side covers up the redness too. I'm really a big fan of the um, cream foundation. I did just order some more Honest Beauty products, so I will do a review on that. I ordered the tinted moisturizer and uh, the Everything Glow primer which I heard great reviews about what else do I have from Honest Beauty oh I have the Honest Beauty 3-in-1 one, detox mask which I love oh my god it's amazing I put that on either morning or night like two to three times a week I see a really big difference in my skin but I do want to try and use more of the Honest Beauty products because it is like an all natural no chemical type of beauty line and I love that and yeah so i just want to try it out so you could see like how easy it is to blend this concealer i mean this foundation you could do just a little you can use this just under your eyes and run out the door but like i said it's a cream foundation and it definitely wears better throughout the day which is very un like not like foundations they usually get creasy and like um cakey throughout the day but this one does not so i do like to put just a little under before my concealer and kind of like i use my finger and just go wherever i'm red and set it because i don't like for an everyday look like this quarantine look i don't like to use a lot of concealer as little as i can so i do kind of use this i guess you could say for a concealer just to touch up anywhere but under my eyes I always like it bright that's what I should say and that's why I go in with a regular concealer uh, for under my eyes but everywhere else like what I'm doing right here just whatever is red problem areas like see this pimple right here it's I'm covering it or you can use concealer but like I said I just like it to be bright under my eyes when I use a concealer so again I just want to show you guys how clear it makes your face and like I said, it's not cakey, so you can kind of just put this on and run out the door just so you cover your face a little bit. My favorite concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape, but for an everyday, like, that's full coverage. Um, and this is like an everyday look, makeup, no makeup look. 
So I'm using the Born This Way concealer in the color Ferris. Putting just right under there. Because my dark circles tend to show like throughout the day. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger first. That way not too much product got, gets on the sponge. I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend that all in. And then I kind of just like push it all into my skin, the foundation and concealer. So it can all like kind of seamlessly blend. I want this to kind of be a dewy look. So you'll see what I do next. So for dewy looks, I really don't like using heavy powder like my banana powder. So I'm just going to be going in with the sheer tint, e.l.f. sheer tint finishing powder. Just with a brush like so. And just pushing the product in pretty much just under my eyes, wherever I put... The concealer over my eyes. And just like my T-zone really. Again, I kind of want this to be a dewy look. So I don't want to go too crazy with heavy, heavy powder. Because with cream foundations and then you put like powders on top of it. It doesn't really work that well. Just like when you do a cream contour, you don't want to really put that much powder on it. So actually I'm going to go in with a cream contour. And this is the Maybelline Super Stay Contour Stick in the color Mocha 360. And it does come with a sponge. Um, I think you have to wet it though. I, I don't really use that sponge. I use my beauty blinder. If you want to put it down your nose, you can. But every day, I mean, if you're staying in your house during quarantine, you don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to take my damp beauty, bl beauty blender and push that in. Kind of go back and forth with the sponge and the brush that I use for the foundation just so it can really blend seamlessly. This is just to bronze you up as well. I like, again, mixing it so... You can't really tell, it's just all blends nicely. So you could see I look really bronzed already, which I love. And you kind of look, you don't look like that cakey like with foundation and powders. This is more of a natural, like I said, everyday look. Just taking what's left and putting it down my nose for a contour. This is totally optional, you do not have to do this. So you could see already, I sculpt my face with the cream contour and it looks blended. It doesn't really look like too um, powdery. That's what I like. If you do want to go in with a bronzer, you totally can, a powder bronzer. I just personally don't like to. I like the dewy looks to look dewy and more of an everyday look so by the way i just did a deep conditioning treatment last night and my hair feels amazing it's silky and it's not frizzy i didn't put any product in it i just braided it last night and this is how it came out i'm not hating it it's a little flat but you know just go like this a little bit and get some volume but i love it my hair feels amazing it was really feeling really dry and like brutally so I'm like, why the heck not do a deep conditioning treatment? So if you guys wanted to see my deep conditioning treatment, then comment in the comments down below. Okay, next, I'm going in with a cream powder. I mean, cream blush. This isn't the, I do want to get the Honest Beauty blushes, the cream blushes, uh, because I heard they were amazing. But for now, I'm just using the e.l.f. Bl uh, cream blush. There's, oh wait, it's in Soft Peach. It's on the side. So for this, I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and kind of like, just go like this, push the product in, and then put it on my face. I love this color. It's so peachy and springy and like works into your face. So you can see the difference. I like to put a little bit more blush on, like always, just because blush is always the first thing to like go away and blend into your skin, kind of disappears. So I always put just a little more. I know it looks kind of weird, but I personally like doing that. And then I'll just take, again, that brush I did with my foundation and kind of push everything in. Going with the beauty blender. That was just whatever powder was left. Just, just kind of bake, but not really. So this is what your face should look like with the foundation, the concealer, and the blush. 
and the green contour stick. Next, I am going in with some highlighter. This is totally optional, but this is, I love it. It's very natural and dewy looking. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. I like to take it with my finger and just rub it around. And it's just that little glow that you, you know, want. It's like day glow. It's not really like a night glow, but you could see it. Look how pretty that is. I love it. So I just put that on my cheeks. I personally like using my fingers. I think they're the best brushes. Then I'm just going to my beauty blender and just blending that all together. I actually like to put it on the tip of my nose too. See? Just makes it like cute looking, I think. So I did just zoom you guys up so you can get a closer look at the foundation, the Honest Beauty foundation, and how it all just kind of blends really nicely together. I absolutely love it. You can see the highlight glow. This is a very dewy look that I absolutely love, and I think it's great for an everyday wear. Okay, so next for eyebrows, I am using something. I only tried it once. It's called Wonder Brow. Heard really good things about it. Um, it's like a one-step brow gel, so it gels your eyebrows at the same time. So I figured, why not give it another try? Because the first time I used it, I was like, oh, it looks kind of dark. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'll give it another go. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it kind of gels your eyebrow as well. Um, brow gel, this is the color brunette. And it also comes with the spoolie so this is what it looks like when you open it which made me nervous at first i was like this isn't an eyebrow brush it looks like a lip liner applicator so that kind of made me nervous but i'm gonna go in and just brush my eyebrows how i want them i really need to do my eyebrows so don't judge me and i'm just gonna go in kind of like strokes to make it really natural looking Okay, so I just zoomed you guys in so you could see a little better. It's kind of hard to shape it, I feel, with this applicator. But we're making it work. I feel like I need... Okay, so I'm going to use the brush to kind of brush it up just a little bit. And it really does. It, like, instantly dries and gels your eyebrow, which is awesome. So I feel like it's not the greatest to do, like, I like doing my eyebrow right here. I feel like it's hard to do it with this, but I'm trying. I'm using a really light hand right now. I'm talking like barely touching. So I feel like I just totally went like on my skin like you could see right there, but I, again, I feel like because it's the applicator, I don't know why they would make it like that, but unless this is just for like fill in after you do your eyebrows, but I feel like that's silly. I mean, you could see the difference. In my eyebrows this one looks more full and like bushy which i like and this one you know i didn't even fill in yet okay so this is what the brows look like after using the wonder brow um i feel like it kind of gets on my skin i don't know if you can see it like right here where i didn't want it to go but i feel like it does make them look more full which is nice so i think i will use this again um i just don't like the applicator but it's nice, I guess, if you're in a hurry, you don't want to go be, like, too precise. I guess you could say this is good for every day. <laughs> okay, so for my eyes, I want them to be very natural because this is an everyday look. You don't have to do eyeshadow every day, but I just like it to give my eyes a little definition. So, I'm going to start... I just want a base, like, to warm up my eyes a little bit. Um, I'm going to use the BH, this Ultimate Matte Palette. I like this color always for like just my lid and to cover my concealer a little bit. So I'm going to use that and just put that all over my lid. I like to bring it up to my brow bone too. So you can see the difference already. It kind of just wakes up your eye. Next, I'm just going to warm up my crease with this <clears throat> blending brush with this color right below it. Why not? It's like a light brownish color. You can honestly use your brown bronzer for this. I always think that works the best because it matches your face. But I'm using this because I didn't use my powder bronzer today. So you can totally stop it right there. I think I might. Maybe not. I <laughs> go in with the darker brown uh, using this. Blending brush. I might go in with this guy. There's no 
names or anything but it's the fourth one in the second row and just put that right in the corner to darken it up a little bit and I'm just gonna go in with a big blending brush and just blend that all together and for under my eye I'm using this little guy right here going in just all the browns that I use just to deepen up the under eye because I like that that's totally optional you don't have to do that and I have the honest beauty mascara I forgot about that too I did a tutorial on it uh, a couple days ago so I do like it I do I do I do I'm going in with my eyelash curler just curling my eyes curling your eyelashes makes a world of a difference so this like I said in my previous video if you want to see that video I will link it up top right here and also down below has a primer so you put the primer on first and then it says to wait 30 seconds in the meantime I'm just going to take that strobing stick again and kind of just put it in the inner corner of my eye to brighten that up okay so I think that was about 30 seconds next I'm going in the other side that's what it looks like you can see the whole video if you want it like a full description of this um, mascara and I always look down I always feel like that makes your eyelashes look longer I also kind of like this because like when you go like this you don't like get it on your nose I know you know what I'm talking about and it's so annoying so this like tube kind of blocks it it's the little things that you notice you know so good job Jessica Alba okay so last and final step lips Super simple. I'm go I also want to try the Honest Beauty lipsticks and lip glosses because I heard they were good. Um, but today I'm going in with the Revlon Color Burst in the color 205 Elusive Insatiable. Insatiable, I think. Um, I really use this up like a lot, but that's okay. It's a nice pink. It doesn't match my shirt, but that's okay. Kind of hydrate your lips as well, which is nice. Again, I just want this to look like really natural, kind of like a lip stain. So for lip stain, I just like put a little bit on my lip with the lipstick and just use my finger to go back and forth. Don't want it to look perfect. Okay, so last but not least, setting spray. I feel like this tops off the dewy look. So this is the blah, blah, blah. This is the NYX Dewy Finish. Setting spray. <sighs> I just ate that. <laughs> Blend that in. And voila! This is the final result. I hope you guys liked it. My quarantine everyday makeup or... I kind of like how this is like for a summer look. Look, it's very dewy. Mm -hmm. and glossy which I love and it doesn't feel heavy on my face at all whatsoever because when you're chilling at home who wants to have a face full of makeup on and feel it too you know so this again if you're chilling at home want to look a little pretty or you're going out gotta go food shopping but then again you're wearing your mask so no one's going to see it but that's okay it's for you so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.